I would like to welcome everyone here uh, physically present at BSF booth uh, K Fair 2019, as well as everyone locked on to the live stream to live talk number six Ultramid setting new standard in fuel cell development. Um, how does it set this new standard? And answering this question, I have two experts here with me um, Stefan Heinz. Uh, who is Head of Pre-Development at Yoma Polytech and Kai Tineta, Specialist Technical Development at BASF. So, welcome to both of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, first question to you, Stefan. Um, what exactly does Yoma Polytech do and what's your function? Uh, Yoma is a company with 500 employers and we produce a plastic system with Ultramid, and we have an uh, extrusion division, and we produce pumps. And you explained my function. I look forward for new technologies at Yoma. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Um, and if, what, what exactly do we see on the picture here? Oh, yeah, you can see... Uh, the, our system we developed together with your company is uh, the end blades and the media distribution blades for uh, fuel cell stack and you find it into series at the Mercedes GLC. Okay, very interesting and, and how, question to both of you guys, how did BASF, Yoma and uh, Mercedes go come together to, to develop this? Okay, so shall I explain it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's please. Uh, we both uh, started BSF, Mercedes and Yuma started in 2009-10 with uh, brackets, engine brackets. Today all four cylinder and six cylinder engines from Daimler will have it into plastic and I think uh, this gives us the trust of Mercedes to start with the development of such a complex system for the fuel cell. Okay, so quite some time working together already. Uh, how exactly did you work on this project? So first of all, um, Daimler approached you, approached you and uh, and BSF for that uh, for that project for the fuel cell, and. Um, the first thing that we did uh, was team up and uh, build a workshop um, to uh, define the uh, engineering targets that were necessary to, uh, to uh, get that project in, in serious production. So um, what came out of this, uh, this workshop was basically that the design is, has been done by, by Yoma Politech. You are right. And, um, we do the, the testing at BASF, so uh, testing with deionized uh, de water as well as the uh, structural analysis with the Ultrasim, um, which is our uh, material model, which is then uh, anisotropic and uh, gives us the superior um, knowledge about our material and uh, the possibility to work on such a uh, complex part. So it harmonized together as we have done it at the brackets and the the result, you can see it. Okay, so quite some planning that went into this. Yes, definitely. Um, and what, what characteristics did you come up with? So why is this special as compared to if I was to make this of metal? Um, so it's completely made out of engineering plastics, which makes it lighter and also uh, less expensive than a metal solution. And um, we were able to um, to refer to our standard material, which is used in the engine brackets, which is the Ultramid A3WG10CR. We use it for the for the structural plates, which is everything below that uh, complex part above. So, uh, so that uh, three flat plates you can see here, which are the the end plates and the the middle plate of the fuel cell stack, are made out of um, Ultramid A3WG10CR. Um, but for the, for the media distribution plate, um, you definitely have to avoid the fuel cell getting poisoned due to um, ion migration. And therefore, we have another grade, which is the Ultramid uh, A3, A3EG7EQ, 
which is a very, very uh, high purity uh, ultramid grade, which enables uh, us to, to use it in a fuel cell in, instead of, um, yeah, more expensive engineering plastics. So, Kai, is it okay if I tell something about the function of uh, yeah, sure. the system? Sure. So, uh, why we have chosen 50% uh, less reinforced uh, polyamide? So, the end blades have to carry a high load. It's the same as an engine bracket. The engine bracket has to carry the whole engine. But, at the engine we discuss with 300 kilograms or for crash mainly uh, 15 kilonewtons, uh, the end blades, they have to carry the double because you know you have uh, many salt blades between, there are more 100 salt blades and they are uh, tightened with a band around and uh, many springs behind at the end node and so you will get uh, 30 kilonewtons or more. Today we work at the project which is, which have a very, which have a higher load. And also the end blade is the door to the cell. And now, adapted above, we have the media distribution blade out of the EQ, mm -hmm. the special material. This is the, this media distribution blade have the function to bring the cooling water and the hydrogen and the air to the end blade. Okay, and if you would summarize like the key characteristics, why do we use ultramid instead of metal? Is it like, I heard, I, I was asking Kai actually before we started this, is it, is it also cheaper? And I, I was afraid of the answer because I thought, okay, maybe it's more expensive, uh, but, but then, yeah. No, it's it's not uh, not more expensive. It's it's just the opposite. It's it's cheaper than the than the metal hybrid uh, solution, um, and that actually enables us uh, for the for the future mobility. So we have more possibilities for the sustainable driving, and um, it's not only um, the price uh, that uh, that counts in that case, but it's also thermal conductivity. It's also electrical conductivity, which is low um, compared to metal, very low compared to metal, which is beneficial in that application. So this is basically combined with the lower price. Um, yeah. is, is that one of the key features yeah. to, to come to success? And, and I guess mentioning all of that, uh, those must be the reason why Stefan was able to bring this today, maybe you want to tell us what it exactly is? Uh, what you can see is uh, the innovation award we got at the Monday evening at SPE. SPE is the Society of Plastic Engineers and we are very happy that we won this award together with uh, BISF. We both get it at the front and we are laughing. Yeah, definitely. So there are some nice pictures of us, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have some more of those pictures, I guess. I uh, hope so. And <laughs> um, so this has been awarded. It seems like the perfect technology applied here. Now my question to you, what's the next steps? How, this, how does this go on? I think it goes on because we, I think we both will get the many contacts and we have it actual because we work at the uh, other projects together for fuel cell. It goes around and uh, if you win an award or make uh, or send it into the net, everybody can see it. Everybody today, everybody works at it. All car manufacturers are working behind at fuel cell. Okay, so projects in the pipeline, as yeah, I hear. Yeah, definitely. More stuff to come. Yeah. Some more projects in the pipeline, and we have uh, a lot of experts backing, uh, backing us up, which are not here on the, on the stage today, so I want to thank you, uh, give a big thank you to them as well, and all my predecessors um, who made this possible. And, um, yeah, it was just great, and it's, it's a lot of fun working with you, actually, actually Stefan. Yeah, I agree. 
<laughs> I agree. So that's why we work uh, since I know. I'm now 27 years at Yuma and I know BASF since 27 years. So, so it's a for, history. Yeah. So here's to many new years to come. And uh, yeah, at the end, nothing more for me to say than thank you both for being here. Thank you everyone for listening and thank you for logging into the live stream. Okay, perfect. Thank, thank you, you for having us here.